for some people, the sex listed on their original birth certificate is a misleading way of describing the body they have. No, it's not. No, it is not. You are fucking delusional. Oh, here we go. If you didn't think CNN was a, just a, you know, it's not a network, it's an activist advocacy group, a propaganda arm for left-wingers or whatever, this is gonna, this is gonna make you laugh or cry. I can't believe it's even, <laughs> CNN, I titled this, CNN, what happened to boys will be boys, which is pretty clever. CNN is being ridiculed online for insisting there is no consensus criteria for assigning sex at birth, <laughs> with critics telling the network to look just below the waist, you fucking idiots, for insight. They're saying you can't tell if it's a boy or a girl just by... This is CNN, the most trusted name in news. Can you stay categorical? You are fake news, sir. The left-leaning network statement was quickly shared online after it appeared in a news story Wednesday about South Dakota banning transgender athletes from women's sports. It's not possible. This is a quote from somebody on the left, CNN. It's not possible to know a person's gender identity at birth. And there is no consensus criteria for assigning sex at birth, CNN's Devin Cole wrote. <laughs> Can you stay categorical? You are fake news. Uh, oh, your son looks like a fag to me. <laughs> really? He's right. I've been so confused. I can't tell you how many guys I've blown over the years thinking it was a vagina. It was tiny dicks. Uh, critics quickly ripped the outlet for reporting uh, it as a straight fact rather than attributing it to others and noting differing views. And there's the problem. It's fact. When you, you have a brand new baby, you can't tell. It's one thing if they said you can't tell the identity, you might identify later. That's not what they're saying. Anyways, then a pit. A bunch of people online started to weigh in. I've gotten used to a lot of woke craziness. Never thought I'd see biological sex in scare quotes. Uh, Twitter username Holden wrote. Uh, CNN isn't a news organization. They are straight up activists, online media critics. Uh, Lee Shotka uh, wrote. Also, uh, conservative accommodator Ben Shapiro said, only an idiot would believe the network's claim. And uh, you, gotta you are correct, sir. So I, you believe this is where we are? This is, by the way, folks, again, keep in mind, keep in mind the left in there. Follow the science, the science. We are the party of science. You're the party of mental fucking illness and explains it. Eh, I'm not going to get into that. Others suggested a simple solution. I'm not a doctor at CNN, but if you look just below the waist, you might, <laughs> you may get some insight. Craig Seymour wrote. And um, I tweeted this to help out Don Lemon. There you go. Hey, Don, see that on the right? That's a snatch, a vagina, a puss. And you're going, that's a little girl's thing. That Well, just picture she's 25, Don, she shaves it. That's basically, it never changes. And Don, that's what you're used to on the left. That'd be a penis. Now, what happens, CNN, these, in about 20 years, 25 years, those babies will grow up, and the one with the blue hat on is going to climb on top of that one and put his plastic pee-pee in that fucking parking meter slot and shoot a nice load and fertilize what we call an egg in there. You see, now, Don, when you do that and you stick your prick in your boyfriend's ass and squirt a load, you make a nice mud pie and nothing comes of it. Again, I'm not anti-gay. I'm just saying those are the facts, okay? Uh, what the feminists have done to us. My vagina's angry. It is. It's pissed off. How mad is it? My vagina is furious. How mad is it? Needs it? Oh, it needs it to talk. Oh, it needs to talk. How about if I shut it up by sticking my peanut into it? <laughs> hey, what was that? Communist ghost. <laughs> Following the backlash with many tagging the network in tweets, CNN later 
altered the wording to provide additional explanation as to the distinctions between gender and sex. But in a way, far from uh, appeasing critics, the offending section now reads, it's not possible to know a person's gender identity at birth. See, I know they bring it to identity. And for some people, the sex listed on their original birth certificate is a misleading way of describing the body they have. No, it's not. No, it is not. You are fucking delusional. Today's episode is brought to you by MerchPark.com. Go to MerchPark.com, pick up a shirt or a mug, uh, one of uh, these new designs. They do a great job for us. 